What's this camera? Um, progress report on life. Uh, just yesterday on an unboxing, I complained that my fridge is very expensive and I need to replace it. It's gonna suck. And just today, I opened up my freezer. Well, actually, I don't have to open the freezer. Yeah, it's 30 in the freezer and 35 in the fridge. 35 in the fridge is fine. 30 in the, it was 27 in the freezer and that's not cold enough. And all my bread was defrosted and half, like some of the meat I put in there yesterday to freeze just wasn't. So I transferred as much as I could to the basement. And now we're gonna have to call a repairman because hopefully he can repair whatever the fucking problem is. Anyway, um, today's day like four of going down, driving down my driveway to get my packages because they're not driving up. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I try to get my Tacoma up in just rear wheel drive every once in a while. It's like, just, it can't be that bad. No, it's that bad. It literally, I'm like, I got some good momentum, but I don't want to go too fast because there's like a fence and then there's trees. And then it's like, mm, stopped. Fuck. So I may have to put like a, a locked parcel bin at the bottom of my driveway for little stupid shit. That's not bad. Um, I don't remember, here's the thing. I don't remember why I bought this. I know I bought it. I remember ordering it. And I'm like, oh good, I need a second one of those for shit sure. Of course, um, I don't remember the reasoning though. Like, the, like there was a very specific purpose and I don't recall what it is. This for pasta's sake is the Fio uh, D3 or O3. And it is the cheapest DAC. Basically the cheapest DAC. They have a, a sticker on them like this because people are dumb. So the TV, to I love how the sticker doesn't peel off properly. You can just end up ripping the thing. And you have a, a switch here that says optical or coaxial. Coaxial. And your options are optical in, coaxial in. You have a power supply of a five volt USB mini. Mini, not micro, mini. The old school big fucker. So you input coaxial or optical, and you get RCA out, and you also get RCA three and a half millimeter out. Is this actually covered with a protective plate? They've improved this by making it unnecessarily pretty. It's like $23. So and you have a little power and a little locked thing to show that it indicated. And this is the cheapest DAC you can buy that I would still say, okay. Like if you have a television that has three and a half millimeter out, no, sorry, that has uh, fiber optic out. And you're just like, but Zios, I got these old speakers and I just need an RCA because I don't have the, you buy this, you plug the USB into your TV's service port, they usually have one. This will give you RCA or three and a half millimeter out and it's good enough. And I don't know why I bought it. I do have one currently in use in the basement on my home theater. One of these drives the, the VU meters because I don't need to be like crystalline clear for just the VUs to move their thing. So that is one of the four DACs in my front end with the heresies. Um, this was also left nicely in the snow. And it's a Music Direct box. And a little bit wet. Oh, it's a little bit soggy. Usually they put it in a bag. This, they did not put it in a bag. Oh, good. Is that it? Is that the entire? Wow. I'm not a big fan of waste, like packaging waste. This is enough. This box is not that wet that it's destroyed and it's a big enough box that I could use it. So I will save it for another day, especially with all that paper in it. Something. Classic. Nice. Something. Something will go in that box for a yard sale and get shipped out. And probably like once a year, I'll decide what boxes I don't need. So yeah, I bought myself, like I said in the comments of my video, I now own my own Zen can. Here you go. Said I would do it, I did it. You've already seen me unbox one of these. I won't bother with the accessories. I bought a magic button, which I realized, because here's the, you know, it's, it's an amp, it's a headphone amp, but it has a magic button for X bass. And someone asked me if the line out here the balanced output in the back takes those buttons, and I didn't even check that. I didn't even think to check that. So, if it has an, a 4.4 balance in and a 4.4 balance out, what if I just use this as the magic box? Just, you know, you set it. Oh, it's so greasy and slimy. Mm, look at it, look, look at the rotational dampening on that. Because it's so cold. Um, you want to let that, don't, and by the way, never plug in very cold electronics. Because if they get hot, or just, just being in the house, forget about turning them on, 
just right now being in the house, condensation's forming all over the entirety of that. And you don't want that. That's bad news bears. So let that come to room temperature, preferably slowly. Like it might be better to keep it by the front door. And then, um, cause it's been outside in like 22 degree weather. Eh? Oh, this is the thing my father ordered. So yeah, my parents, like, they, they miss me, and it's like Christmas passed, and they, so they just keep sending me little things constantly. And um, they got the phone call yesterday that says, hey, we can't drive up your driveway, and they were like so confused, because they, they definitely could. So my, my father ordered me pill splitters, because I needed to give Chewbacca medicine, so I got that pill crusher in the other video. So now I've got two pill splitters, which is probably good, because you know, some people can't swallow pills, big size pills. So we could split them or we can crush them. We can mix them up with um, probably gin. I probably wouldn't mix uh, medication with gin. But oh my God, there's literally a razor blade in there. Holy fuck. So yeah, you apparently drop, whoa. You drop your pill there and go cook. And then it, it's, and then it just falls into this little case and you pick it up and you pour it out. So I have two of those now. So I'll leave one wrapped up and I'll take this one and I'll put it somewhere. And um, I will keep the unboxing channel abreast, completely off timing, but you'll never know when the fuck I'm filming this, February 11th. You'll never know when I have, it's close, when I've got the fridge fixed or when the snow stops being here, who the fuck knows. So yeah, thank you all for stopping by. Um, more to come or not, I don't know how long this is. Okay, um, stream just ended. I made sausage and peppers with the big uh, calamari pasta, which are my favorite. And I had to run down to my mailbox because they tried to shove this in it and it didn't work. They shoved it behind it. And it's not that I don't trust my neighbors, but um, the wind has been bad. And if, <laughs> like, huh, I wonder where that package went. So I had to go down now in the snow. Although I will say, I always try to drive up with my, um, with my Tacoma in two wheel drive. I drive down in two wheel drive because it's easier to make the U-turn on the street. Cause I gotta drive completely out of my driveway to do that. And four wheel drive is like ah, pain. So I go down in two wheel drive and then I'm way back up. If I know I can't make it, it's all wheel drive, four wheel drive. Um, but I try every time to do two wheel drive just to see if the mail is gonna be able to get up here. Cause right now the mail lady didn't try, but at some point, they're gonna wanna try again, and I, I made it, so therefore they can make it if they're fucking baller. Uh, hey, you know how I have a Patreon set up? And people pay me, and then, like, I do things? Well, this is one of those things. It's like, hey, Zios, are you gonna do the, um, the Grado Hemp's? And I'm like, why would I do an expensive set of Grado's? And these are like $450. And I'm like, cause these are good. Everyone says that about Grado's, and then Grado's are real things, but it's like, no, no, no. People who have heard the wireless Grados say that these sound like the wireless Grados. Now those are $250 and DSP corrected to be perfect. So if you're gonna make a non-wireless, like actual th thing, then you would move. Did you do something different? Cause I mean, <sighs> smells like Grado. Literally smells like just cat piss. That's what the whole thing smells like. Actually it's not as cat pissy. It's just, you know, family run for six decades in Brooklyn, New York. I actually bought these on Amazon, so possibly I can find them. Those pads are garbage. Um, let's put these down for a second. I'm about to have a fucking conniption fit. And it could be because it's cold. Like this thing was sitting out in the mailbox for probably three hours, just like being cold. And oh, oh God. You know what has this exact same cord? I have, I have that exact same cord, hold on. There is it. Yeah, there you go. Here, look. Identical. My fucking pasta. Please link a warring commercial stick blender with an attached cord. And if you want to know the most annoying part about this, it's this. Look, I, if you look at the fucking notice here. Wow. Um, the maximum this draws is 100 watts. You know what this cord is for? A truck. This is to run a circular saw. 
why does this 100 watt motor, which goes woo, need this cord? It, I, it's insufferable. So I'm gonna ask again, why does a headphone that is supposed to be very efficient need the same exact size cord that my 1000 watt computer use? Why? And why is it so stiff? What? It's, and it's, it goes into a 3.5 millimeter. There's a little time, like the grotto could be so, they're so close. You're so fucking close to being like modern, just modernized this little baby bit. First, first, don't do that with the wire, coil the wire. I'm very sure in the grotto factory, this wire that I'm looking at and complaining about came in a giant spool of 5,000 feet or something stupid. And they make it all together and ooh, they just don't, Fucking it, just, just loop it. Get them, make the box an inch bigger, just put a loop. So when you take it out, it unloops. And then, are you, are you stuck in here? Pasta. Chew pasta. I called her pasta, I'm sorry pasta. Mandy's watching this right now going, what? That's the second time today. The second time today I've locked you into a room. I locked you in the closet for like four hours while I was doing my stream. By mistake, I didn't know she was sleeping in there. I just closed the door like, oh, don't want Chewbacca in here. Meanwhile, I thought I saw her seconds ago. Um, make that two and a half millimeter. Follow the, follow the lead of all these Chinese IM manufacturers like the Legacy 4 and the OH7s and give me a balanced two and a half millimeter connector or a 4.4 Pentacon if you really want to get to my thing, but then provide an unbalanced adapter so people can use it either quarter inch or three and a half, something like that. It'll cost, yes, it's gonna cost you more. These are already a $450 headphone. Make it 500 and improve the things I'm asking you to improve. You're in Brooklyn. I can come out there and yell at you, like right there. None of this China, Wuhan, gotta go fly in an airplane to go yell at the manufacturer. They don't, people in Brooklyn. Although there's no guarantee everyone speaks English there, but I'm gonna yell anyway. And then, for the love of fuck and God, add another $50 to make these $550 and make the wires attachable. Just detachable wires. Just make the wires like come out. Like, like, like I don't know, can we just solder like a thing and then glue it and then you pop a thing in there and then you don't have to worry about the wire. But at least if they did the other things I'm saying, I wouldn't quite care about the wire not being able to attach. Let's look at these. Um, the exact same headband that a Grado has always have has had, always have had, and has, and will. And then this, which is like, you can literally peel off this rubber thing and just pull this out. And it's got a little bit of thing. This is made of cork, or I'm, I'm assuming it's made of hemp, some sort of compressed hemp. And it says Grado Hemp, and it's got a picture of a marijuana leaf on it. Already a good start. I don't know what these pads is doing. That is, that is a new level of small. And I'm gonna use them with the stock pads. I might boil the stock pads a little bit. Like they're doing this thing. Like I, I, I see some, in, some, something's different. Something's improved. Wow, that wire got. This wire is a tube. I got kinked. Oh god, I hate it. I'm gonna have to get my heat gun out. But I've been told that these are actually fun, clean, nice sounding grados. Um, let's try them on. Adjusting. Ow. Oh god, I have a thing on the top of my head. No, they, they still are gonna need the treatment. Um, they might need Dakoni Nuggets. They, they don't quite, oh yeah, there's, there's massive, massive, like only, like when you're wearing them, only this much is touching the top of your head. And so you get all that pressure on this unpadded leather. It's very nice leather, by the way. Like this actually feels like a wallet. Coming away from the bad, and you know the bad of Grado and I haven't fucking fixed it, but coming to the good of Grado, it's like, that is really, like that's, you can see it's hand stitched or they fuck up the edges a little bit. But I mean, this box, like you fixed it on the fucking, the wireless ones. The Bluetooth ones is fucking great. This thing is perfect. And this is the same exact shit that's always been the greatest, the Grado shit. Um, what I usually do with these is I usually flatten out the top like entirely and make them like Frankenstein ears, like straight down as far as it'll go. And then just have it sort of like float so there's no pressure. Like that's a little bit too low. Like that's already better. It's just super loose. And this wire, 